With all of the political drama going on, I thought I'd switch it up for the many people whose spiritual beliefs are currently being questioned by recent events, or will be in the near future. There are many volumes of guidance, but we are going to address one of the most widespread spiritual guidance for living on planet Earth, the Bible. I am no biblical scholar, and my focus in this video will be to bring people quiet inside their beings, calm down and trust that everything is as it should be, and that our civilization is not going to end, but instead morph into a more holistic existence with mankind recognizing and embracing its inextricable connection to nature. This video will address foods as medicine and references to this natural healing in the Bible, so if you like my videos, help me out with some shares and likes. In this days of so much fear and discontent, we must once in a while return to center, so here we go. Foods and plants used as medicines in the Bible. Olive oil references, Exodus chapter 30, verses 22 to 25, James chapter 5, verse 14, uses. Olive oil was used for anointing and healing wounds. It was also used as a base for the holy anointing oil, which was believed to have medicinal properties. Honey references Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24, 1 Samuel chapter 14, verses 25 to 27. Uses. Honey is described as a natural sweetener and a source of energy. It was also used for its antibacterial properties to treat wounds and infections. Aloe or aloe vera is mentioned in the Bible in John chapter 19, verse 39, and Numbers chapter 24, verse 6. This remarkable plant was known for its soothing and healing properties, especially for treating skin conditions and wounds. Figs are referenced in Isaiah chapter 38, verse 21, and 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 18. In biblical times, figs were used as a poultice to treat boils and other skin infections. Additionally, they served as a nutritious food source, rich in essential nutrients. Garlic and onions are mentioned in Numbers chapter 11, verse 5. Although the Bible doesn't specifically highlight their medicinal uses, historically, these pungent plants have been valued for their antibacterial and antiviral properties. Pomegranates have been cherished for centuries. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8, and the Song of Solomon chapter 4, verse 3, they are mentioned for their significance. These fruits were highly valued, not only for their delicious taste, but also for their nutritional benefits and antioxidant properties. They contribute greatly to overall health. Grapes, particularly wine, hold a special place in history. In 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 23, and the Song of Solomon chapter 2, verse 5, we see references to wine's importance. It was used for its antiseptic properties and to aid digestion. Paul even advised Timothy to drink a little wine for his stomach ailments, highlighting its medicinal uses. Myrrh, an ancient and revered substance, is mentioned in Matthew chapter 2, verse 11, and Mark chapter 15, verse 23. It served as an analgesic and antiseptic. Often myrrh was mixed with wine to create a pain-relieving drink and was also used in embalming practices, reflecting its diverse applications. Cinnamon is mentioned in the Bible in Exodus chapter 30 verse 23 and Proverbs chapter 7 verse 17. It was a significant component of the holy anointing oil, cherished for its delightful fragrance and its potential antimicrobial properties. Bitter herbs are referenced in Exodus chapter 12, verse 8, and Numbers chapter 9, verse 11. These herbs, such as hyssop, were integral to purification rituals and were possibly valued for their digestive benefits. Hyssop is cited in Psalm 51, verse 7, and John chapter 19, verse 29. This herb was used in purification rituals and symbolized cleansing. It was believed to possess antiseptic and expectorant properties. 
Mandrakes were mentioned in the Bible, specifically in Genesis chapter 30, verses 14 to 16, and in the Song of Solomon chapter 7, verse 13. These plants were believed to have fertility-enhancing properties and were often used as an aphrodisiac. Throughout history, various foods and plants were utilized for their medicinal properties. Each of these natural remedies played a crucial role in the health and well-being of ancient communities. The Balm of Gilead is referenced in Genesis chapter 37, verse 25, and in Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 22. This resin was highly valued for its soothing and healing properties, particularly for treating wounds and skin conditions. Wheat and barley, mentioned in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8, and Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 9, were staples in the ancient diet. They provided essential nutrients, forming the foundation of daily sustenance. Ezekiel bread, made from these grains, is particularly noted for its remarkable nutritional value. Lentils, referenced in Genesis chapter 25, verse 34, and 2 Samuel chapter 17, verse 28, were cherished for their protein and nutrient content. Valued for their sustenance and health benefits, lentils played a crucial role in the diet of ancient cultures. Herbs and spices, such as those mentioned in Exodus chapter 30, verses 23 to 24, and Matthew chapter 23, verse 23, held significant roles in ancient times. Frankincense and myrrh, among others, were used not only in religious rituals, but also for their medicinal properties. Guidance related to healing the body. Faith and prayer. The Bible emphasizes the importance of faith, prayer, and seeking God's intervention for healing. References can be found in James chapter 5, verses 14 to 16, and Mark chapter 5, verse 34. The laying on of hands and anointing with oil are mentioned as practices for seeking healing. Cleanliness and Hygiene The Mosaic Law includes detailed instructions on cleanliness, quarantine, and hygiene to prevent the spread of disease. References can be found in Leviticus chapters 11 to 15 and Numbers chapter 19, verses 11 to 22. These laws highlight the importance of physical health and cleanliness. Rest and Sabbath references Exodus chapter 20 verses 8 to 11 and Mark chapter 2 verse 27. The principle of rest as observed in the Sabbath underscores the need for physical and mental rejuvenation. Rest is considered essential for overall well-being. Dietary Laws References Leviticus chapter 11 and Deuteronomy chapter 14. The Bible provides dietary guidelines, distinguishing between clean and unclean foods. These laws, while religious, also have implications for health and well-being. Moderation and avoidance of excess. References, Proverbs chapter 25 verse 16 and 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 19 to 20. The Bible advises moderation in eating and drinking and avoiding gluttony and drunkenness. It emphasizes treating the body as a temple of the Holy Spirit, which implies taking care of one's physical health. Symbolic and Spiritual Healing Tree of Life In Revelation chapter 22, verse 2, and Proverbs chapter 3, verse 18, the tree of life symbolizes eternal life and ultimate healing, providing leaves for the healing of the nations. Healing through Jesus. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 and Matthew chapter 9 verse 35 highlight Jesus as a healer. He performed numerous healings in the New Testament. Belief in Jesus as a source of spiritual and physical healing is a central theme in Christianity. The Bible provides a holistic approach to healing, encompassing physical remedies, spiritual practices, and principles of health and well-being. While some references are specific to the medical knowledge of ancient times, many principles such as cleanliness, rest, and moderation 
are timeless and continue to be relevant today. These foods and plants mentioned in the Bible were used for their medicinal properties and played a significant role in the health practices of ancient times. While some of these uses are supported by modern science, the Bible gave no guidance for using man-made drugs or contrivances for healing. It relies on nature and the energy of the Creator. We are about to embark on a new future of health and prosperity. I'm not telling you to believe in any particular religion or document. I'm telling you to connect with your Creator and the amazing universe that was given to us for self-healing. Until next time, do the stuff. Share. Like and subscribe because I'm just getting started.